Hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, today we're going to do something pretty cool. Um, it's going to help out a lot of people um, with like uh, heating problems and issues like that. Um, basically what we're going to do is make our own custom uh, high flow bracket. Now uh, on the card that I'm going to do it today, I'm going to do it on my GTX 670. But this should work for any card. I mean it doesn't have to be this specific card. Um, just taking off the bracket will probably be differently. But uh, nonetheless it's really easy and simple to do. So what you'll need is uh, some type of little screwdriver to take off the screws for the bracket. Um, you, you'll need a card, obviously. Um, you'll need some needle nose pliers on this card specifically, just to take off the uh, back screws that are holding the DVI ports in. And uh, you'll need your handy Dremel tool. Now, if you got, if you're doing this to your 670, um, it's very simple to take off the bracket on this. If you look at the card, um, there's just one screw in this corner right here. It holds the bracket on, and if you turn it back, there's just the two DVI screws on each side that you just take out, and the bracket should come right off. Okay, so here's the bracket. So what I'm um, planning to do to this is just make it to where all that's either gone. I haven't really decided yet. I can make like a super high flow bracket, or it's really up to you. I mean, you could do a whole bunch of different stuff. Now, um, before doing this, I would do this at your own risk. I don't think this voids any kind of warranty, um, maybe other than your bracket. <laughs> but if something does happen to your card, what I suggest doing is buying a high flow bracket anyway, just in case something goes wrong, you can just swap it out and put your high flow bracket on there. Okay, so um, again, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I think I kind of want to just take out all of this and just make it like one big like blower type of bracket, I guess you could say. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I found out something pretty cool. Uh, this is probably good for a lot of you guys if you don't have a Dremel tool. You can actually just use some wire cutters and this metal is actually weak enough that you can actually just go in here and cut them out with this. As you can see, I did already one of them. Um, but what I'm going to do is after I cut them all out with this, I'm going to go back with the Dremel and just kind of smooth all these uh, rough edges down so it's uh, nice and straight. Alright. Okay, so looks like I got all of them on the the uh, bottom here. Um, now, I guess you could either take that one out or leave it if you want. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Um, I may just take it out and try to see if I can get something in there to grind it smooth. Um, but now what you're going to do is take the Dremel and just take out all these rough edges here and make it nice and flat. Okay, so we got our uh, bracket out here and it's in between a a clamp right now and um, we got all prepared we got like some sort of grinding stone on here to uh, kind of smoothen this out and um, now for some of you maybe you know this is good enough um, you don't want to make it look any better you just want to put it back on your card and that's it and that's fine but um, I like to make it look really nice and stuff so I'm just gonna grind this down um, yeah so just make sure you get your safety glasses on and here we go Okay, so we got it pretty smoothed out. Um, you can tell on the back here, um, a lot of it bends back. So what we're going to do now is just grind that off. And uh, we should be almost set. Um, do a little more touch-ups here and there. And uh, it's looking pretty good. Okay, so what I decided to do was go ahead and just cut that out. And what I'm going to do is use this to kind of get in there and uh, grind that down. Okay, so I got the uh, other little slot here pretty... Um, Pretty smoothed out, and it looks pretty nice. Um, one thing I'm gonna do though is use a uh, hand file. And what we're gonna do is just go along the edges around here and the inside and make them as flat as possible. Uh, so one thing I forgot to mention is you will need one of these, um, especially if you don't have a Dremel, this makes things a lot uh, cleaner looking. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do that. We should be done. Okay, so we basically got the bracket complete. Uh, that's what it looks like. Very nice, really smooth. Um, and that's gonna 
allow a lot of air to go through, that's for sure. Alright, now all we gotta do is install it back on your card, and uh, you'll be good to go. Alrighty guys, here is the uh, finished product. It's gonna allow a lot of, uh, it's gonna allow a lot of air to go through that. Um, <laughs> let the whole thing cut out. Uh, it's a very easy project. It um, only took me about 25 minutes, so um, time-wise, I think it's uh, going to be very beneficial, especially with those uh, temps. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you later.